It started about seven years ago, and I found myself in a very funny position that perhaps some people can relate to, is that I was working, um, I had a comfortable life, but I felt kind of dead inside, just creatively disconnected and very disturbed and f at, at that and felt quite ungrateful for that. And September 11th happened, and the more I began to read, the more I began to realize how ignorant I was to the rest of the world and sort of frightened at the level of my own ignorance and perhaps how it contributed to, in a, in a teeny way, the direction in which the world is going in. And it was sort of one of those light bulb moments where I was just like, I have to change my life and I'm really not using my skill set properly. And so I did a lot of research for about a year, came up with the idea for the book, put together this kind of mock book um, where I felt like, first of all, what I saw, especially after 9-11 now actually, is when you read the news, especially the front page, you see explosions and rubble and bodies, but very rarely do you know about the life in between. So the goal was, was to have displaced persons speak for themselves and write for themselves and document their life and have graphic novels woven throughout. It's basically about voiceless persons all over the world. People who've lived in extremities and basically the book's goal was to find these hidden sort of elusive stories that popular media doesn't cover, like underage women in brothels speaking for themselves how they feel about their lower half, child recently escaped child soldiers from Burma, um, you know, the family of a woman who was in Juarez who was found murdered in a field, a cotton field, um, a children's story about HIV AIDS in Malawi, and it was basically to bring forward these th issues that are actually, I, I believe, are issues and affect all of us eventually into a popular, for like a much more mainstream format. I mean, first of all, I think that on a personal level, you know, after so, so many years of working on this book, I realized that my ignorance is a form of Act, active abandonment of these issues. And I think that I, I do feel now a responsibility to not be ignorant and to educate myself. I, I, and I think that these stories actually, like a, locally, I, I, I hope that people read this book and realize that in many ways this book is a metaphor for what exists in our own communities. And I think, you know, art is, is elevates our humanity. I really believe that. And I'd like to think that people can be inspired by what they see in this book and perhaps seek these stories out in their own community. Obviously, the book needs to get out there as a way of talking about what's going on in Burma, in Chechnya, in Malawi, in Juarez, in, in each country, in each, it's, it's really outrageous what's going on. And I'm hoping for a grassroots movement to begin, to begin to move these stories and finally take some action to get to stop these things. Mm -hmm.